Good morning and welcome to another what I eat in a day whilst calorie counting. So I haven't filmed in a while because uh, my son's been on school holidays, preschool holidays and last week we was on holiday. I'll go more into our holiday um, info in my way and update but now I've just done his first back to preschool run and um, I'm about to get on the treadmill so yeah starting the day with that after a strong coffee. This is the treadmill we have which is a Fuji Health treadmill. Um, I do recommend it, um, it's not that huge compared to some other ones and it can actually collapse up. This is our wet room, it's the next room to be made over in our house. Um, yeah, we don't use this as a shower room anymore but we did when we were doing our bathroom. So. Yeah, this is where I'll be working out today. The little one's in the jump room. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has got a renewed motivation in September. I feel like all of a sudden I want to do more workouts on the treadmill. The day before our holiday I did just a 30 minute one and just 30 minutes fast walking. So yeah and that's something that I is a new goal that I want to start doing that to feel more toned um, so yeah so this is a new goal and I'll let you know how I get on with that um, I do find that I do get a proper sweat on even though it's only like half an hour walking so um, yeah I tend to increase the speed I start at I think it's 4 miles per hour <laughs> that's what the four means um, yeah, so I tend to up it once I get into it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do that for as many days as I manage. Not setting an exact number because some weeks sort of are more hectic than others. Um, yeah, so I think I'm actually going to start in a journal, just ticking off, like doing a tally of actually how many times I managed to do this before the end of the year. Um, so I've got some sort of, not goal, but record of like progress to celebrate sort of thing. So I'll mark down every time I manage to do a 30 minute um, fast walk on the treadmill. So another thing that's been going on as to why I haven't been posting more videos is that I was um, finishing up my research project for my master's degree that I've been studying for the last three years part time and I finally submitted it so I'm just really relieved to have actually managed it um, yeah so now to wait on the results yeah so that's been sort of a huge piece of work and something that's been occupying my mind for like over the last year the research project so yeah great relief it's finished but I feel like I've got like a huge gap in my mind now because it's occupied so much mind space um so yeah I think that's why as well now I'm like let's up the exercise a bit and I was looking back at some pictures of before I met my husband <laughs> when I was just working and used to go to the gym three nights a week and I used to just do an hour fast walking on the treadmill and I was so toned. Um, so I thought, you know, my body has changed, but I can be more toned than I am at the moment. So this is where this new motivation has come from as well. And I only used to do fast walking on the treadmill because I didn't at that time I didn't even have the confidence to sort of like do a induction sort of thing or find out what to use. So I just used to go there, do that. And I used to sort of like bribe myself by knowing that afterwards I can go in the jacuzzi and <laughs> sit there for a while. <laughs> so um, yeah, I did that for about a year. Um, yeah. Then I met my husband and sort of ended up um, spending that time in the week with him. So, yeah, different seasons in life, eh? But, um, uh, my goal at the moment to get more time. This one's very busy as you can see. <laughs> uh, 
So breakfast this morning is an overnight weed fix I made last night with lacto-free whole milk and um, lacto-free Greek yogurt which is plain and some two chocolate weed fix. So that's roughly about 280 calories and because I've had one of these Tasmo Law Latte Macchiatos that's around 92 or something. So this is actually 379 calories so far today. It's around 10.30, so I'm a bit late having breakfast today. So we've all bathed now, <laughs> me and the baby. So, um, yeah, feeling a lot fresher after that sweaty treadmill workout. Um, something I want to start doing is using my pressure cooker more. Um, we use our air fryer like every day. That's one of our best um, things. But I do put the oven on for like cooking pizzas for my eldest. But um, aside from that, we do mostly use the air fryer for virtually everything in the microwave. But obviously um, in England with all the bills soaring, um, it is something that I'll be thinking about uh, like energy usage in some of my choices of what I'm going to be eating going forward as well. Um, just to be a bit more mindful and sort of not so wasteful in terms of energy um and this week i actually got organized and did a full freezer list um yeah of everything that's in the freezer which i'm not usually very good at like actually thoroughly checking before i do a food shop and actually i was surprised that things i had on the online shop i've already got some of them at the bottom of the freezer sort of thing so i um took them off and actually looked properly at all the things that we have um so this is some of the things I'm going to be doing going forward. I'm looking forward to using my pressure cooker more. Um, I used that so much when I was doing Slim World before. And I've got out of sort of a habit of using that. So that's something that I um, plan to start using more. Especially I want to find out how you cook rice in there. Because um, I've never done that. So yeah, I'm going to be looking into all of that sort of thing. So my lunch today is 628 calories for half a bag of basmati rice, a whole can of my favourite um, mixed veg that you've seen in a lot of my videos, and I'm going to have this full chicken tikka masala Slimming World meal. The Slimming World tikka masala is 460 calories, so I've had it in the freezer a while and it's on my list of things to use up. Um, yeah, but today because I'm having a salad for dinner, I can afford to spend more on lunch. So this is more calories than I would normally spend. So this is my finished meal. I haven't used all the sauces, there was quite a lot. As an afternoon treat, I'm having a Law Latte Macchiato for 92 calories and a Fibre One Bar, a chocolate one for 88 calories. I'm just having an Options Hot Chocolate for 40 calories. I have put a bit of milk in it this time, but I'm not going to count that because um, I didn't measure it out. So this is my dinner tonight. I'm having a tuna and sweet corn salad. I've used a whole bag of this iceberg lettuce. I've put some balsamic glaze on there and two mini cucumbers. And I've used a whole can of this sweet corn and one whole can of tuna in brine. So when I do have a salad, I do have a proper big pasta size bowl of salad, not like a tiny salad, but I do really enjoy this. I had this yesterday as well and found it really refreshing so yeah I thought I'd have it again. This comes to 364 calories but that's without the mayonnaise I've put in the tuna which was about a tablespoon of lighter than light mayo. Personally I'm not counting mayonnaise and I don't count the small amount of milk I put in my drinks um, because I just find <laughs> that I'm trying to make this simple the calorie counting but it's advisable to count everything but yeah um, that's just how I'm doing it. So this is the finished bowl. For my evening treats tonight I've got watermelon fans. These are 60 calories and I'm having another um, fiber one brownie bar for 88 calories. Ending the day on 1,699 calories. I've kept um, my goal this week as 1,649 but I've only been back from holiday um, since Friday so yeah, I haven't been strictly sticking to it, so this Monday, Tuesday, I'm really trying my best. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with how today's gone, and I'll catch you on my next video.
take care bye